Hello, everyone. Uh, I'll be speaking English as I cannot speak Slovak, unfortunately, uh, but I hope it's not a problem for you. Uh, so today I want to speak about uh, another possibility on how to use uh, the images that are already there, that are uh, the output of the radiological department, and how to transfer them uh, for the surgeons to uh, more easily use them in their surgical practice. Uh, so uh, we, uh, as a company, we work in 3D imaging with also with artificial intelligence and with integration of every uh, of those data uh, to, uh, in a friendly uh, interface. And this interface is the mixed reality. Uh, the mixed reality is different from the virtual reality you might uh, know, because the virtual reality is the glasses where you are cut off of the uh, real world. In augmented and mixed reality, you see everything in front of you, and over on top of that, you see uh, an uh, additional uh, digital layer uh, where you can interact with the data as, it, as if there were real objects. Uh, so we bring that and we create uh, medical holograms uh, out of the uh, computer tomography and uh, magnetic resonance. So you can easily interact with the data, you can rotate them, you can, uh, you can grab them by using your hands, uh, you can walk inside to uh, see different, uh, different structures, different layers inside, you can change easily the presets, uh, you can uh, change, uh, change easily uh, the, way, uh, the things you want to see. Uh, to make this uh, whole process easy. Uh, also for, uh, for people who are not exactly uh, familiar with, uh, with all the um, details uh, of the radiology. Uh, so, uh, so even the people who normally don't work all the time with this data should be able to, uh, to get that really easy and, and quickly. Uh, we can work with multiple data types. It's not only computed tomography, it can be also uh, echocardiography, and uh, it can be uh, images from different sources uh, like, uh, like endoscopy. It can be integrated with outputs of uh, artificial intelligence like overlays here the, um, uh, is the stomach. It can be uh, also the, the tumors that are segmented by artificial intelligence. So uh, everything can be in one place, uh, even on top of the, uh, of the patient. So first you get the images from the uh, radiological department. Uh, then it can be transferred over packs or just simply over pen drive to, to a workstation. And then immediately you can see the three-dimensional uh, hologram uh, uh, on, in, the, in the glasses. The hologram can be in real size of the patient and it can be overlaid uh, on the patient to show you uh, where exactly the tumor is, uh, where are the vessels and uh, how, uh, how you can approach them. Uh, you can plan the whole procedure before and then simply put that on the, uh, on the patient to help you with the, uh, with the procedure. Uh, so uh, we want to give the, um, as it is possible, real time, even real-time holograms. It's possible with some kind of imaging devices like echocardiography. And if not, we get the preoperative data. Uh, it's simple and uh, sterile interaction because you use voice commands and hand gestures to interact with the data. And uh, we, uh, we did some preliminary studies that, that show that in some cases, here is the uh, case of surgical oncology, uh, it can uh, effectively shorten the time of the procedure uh, thanks to the better preoperative planning and uh, that the, this plan is available at all times during the, uh, the procedure. Uh, right now, we work mostly in the uh, fields of interventional cardiology, urology, surgical oncology, orthopedics, vascular surgery, and it can be used for planning of treatments and support uh, during, uh, during treatments. It can be used also for, for training purposes, as you have the access to the full anatomy in 3D. Uh, and it can be a beneficiary uh, when you want to analyze the cases and show them to your, uh, to your students. Uh, we did those works uh, not only in Poland, but also in, uh, in different, uh, different places around, uh, around Europe already. 
and uh, this uh, product is already uh, CE certified, uh, which is uh, which is crucial as it comes to the uh, to the real usage in the uh, in the in the hospitals. Uh, we uh, we are in the process of FDA approval for uh, for this uh, for this technology. Uh, so uh, basically, to uh, to sum up every uh, everything here, uh, so we can do a uh, we can uh, help with diagnostic before the surgery, uh, as we provide three uh, D holograms with uh, proper location, with proper sizes of the um, of the anatom anatomical structures. We give the natural perception of the uh, of the structures even to the, to the operators uh, which are not so easy uh, with transferring the, the sizes from the uh, like computed tomography to the, uh, to the real world. So, uh, so we want to uh, simplify the, uh, this process by using those uh, augmented and mixed reality approach. And, uh, and this, uh, this way, this, this preoperative planning can also be Transferred into the surgical uh, surgical field, uh, with, uh, and be uh, you are able to interact with the data um, without breaking the steri sterility field. Uh, you can adjust the uh, the ways you see. Uh, you can uh, set up the the presets to to showcase the um, the vessels, the uh, the structures, and maybe. Uh, maybe even some some special parts of the of the data you uh, you need for the surgery. You can do the measurements, uh, so it's easier um, for you not to remember everything. Uh, and uh, in case of uh, echocardiography and uh, in interventional cardiology, uh, we can stream that live, uh, so you can get the better depth perception when you are trying to, uh, when you are performing uh, procedures like mitra clip or left atrial appendage closure. Um, so uh, if you want to experience that, because the images you see here, they're only from one eye, uh, but you, if you want to, to see the depth, uh, you see how it really works, uh, I invite you all to uh, to see at the booth uh, upstairs, and I will be happy to, to uh, answer all your questions there. And I really encourage you to see it for your own eyes, as it's a completely different experience from what you can see on a flat screen, as the whole process is about to uh, to, to make it real 3D. So uh, thank you, uh, thank you very much for your for your attention, and uh, and I'm happy to be here.